This road is too bad and I don't understand. And we have BB people passing and each time we, we are passing, our car get hooked on one, in one point or the other. Again, people have been complaining and there's nobody doing anything about it. This is the popular St. Fimbus College Road, which is home to the foremost University of Lagos and the Federal College of Education here in Akoka Yaba. This particular road thrives in history because this is where some foreign missionaries kick-started education in Lagos State. Over the years, many professionals, leaders and successful individuals have passed through the CMS Grammar School founded in 1859 and St. Fimbus College which was founded in 1956. Apart from being host to historical legacies and institutions, this road is also hard to avoid for commuters going to the Third Mainland Bridge from Akokayaba. It also connects to Bagada and the Habat Makalu Way. Without further emphasis, this road is not one to be ignored, let alone left to degenerate to this level. Over time, residents and users claim the bad state of the road has made free movement a hellish experience for motorists and pedestrians as you can see. Some students and residents of the area expressed sadness over the abandonment of the infrastructure. This road has been a problem for us and we don't know. Ever since I've been living in Bariga for over seven years now, this is how this road has been. Nothing has changed. So I don't know if government wants us to use our money to do it or they want to do it by themselves. I don't know. Titi, Yojima. Every day, I'm going to be tired of me. So, I'm going to be tired to be tired of me. I'm to be tired of me. I'm going 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 to Tawa ni bena ta je transporter ta an sisembe so ti so awa gan se gbogbo nkan lo n baje n ba mo to je so owe go we come so an lo smoothly bo se ka lo so ngba mi bi e la re bariga so yin guare lo more than 3 hours so just pe lojo na ti o de dine lo n ko si gbogbo wa la yen so gbogbo wa la ma lo la ma ngbe moto lo si le ripiara so la ma lo nawo si moto so ka won government wa kan jo so lati le sanu wa pelu titi yen lati ba wa se we reached out to the Commissioner for Information in Lagos to know why the road has been left in this horrible shape and what is being done to fix it. Yeah, I've been making inquiries though. Yeah, they said the whole of that area, not just uh, St. Pimbas Road, the whole of that area needs a uh, total, uh, total uh, refixing. Not just uh, something that you just do, they, they have to rebuild all those roads. And that uh, what they are trying to do now is to begin palliatives, pending when the contracts will be awarded. Uh, based uh, on the phone burner, it's on the table. Mm, uh, that's an important uh, part of uh, the state. And then, uh, like I told you, there are over 6,000 roads in Lagos. Can't do it uh, all at the same time. Even though the Lagos State Government, through the Public Works Bureau, is working to fix some roads in the state, a road like this, St. Fimbus College, should be of top priority. For an important community in Lagos, hosting four major institutions to have this sort of bad road says a lot about misgovernance in the country. It is hoped that between the federal and the state governments, something will be done fast to change the appalling story of this highly historical road. Do drop your comments, like, share and subscribe. It's Kemi Adebayo reporting for Guardian TV.